What's, what's going on, King Drew? How you doing? King Wayne, how is everybody doing? Okay, so listen, y'all know the first thing y'all need to do is go get y'all cousins. Go get y'all cousins. Somebody go let y'all cousins know that it is 8.30 a.m. on Monday morning. And it is time for that accountability. Put it in whatever chat you can put it in. Go pick them up. Call them, send them a text, whatever it is you got to do. Go get your cousins and tell them to stop playing this beautiful morning. What's going on, Defonte? How are you, King? King James, what's, how you doing? What's going on? How you doing? I'm good. Queen, King Terrence, how you doing? Queen Jasmine, how are you? What's going I'm on? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. How you? Great. I'm great. I get to spend this morning with y'all. What you talking about? I'm feeling marvelous. Absolutely. Okay, so just let everybody know to go ahead, get in here. We're about to get to some, go over just a, a few quick things to start getting you prepared, right, for this upcoming week, because it's all about preparation. And y'all have made a major decision to decide that you no longer want to stay in the circumstances that you've been in. You no longer want to live the life that you've been living. So we want to do something different. So everybody in here has taken the time out to choose themselves at this moment, to invest into themselves. However, it's just getting started. Like now it's actually time to do the work. And believe it or not, as much as we all want to get to the bag, right? The most important thing that you have to work on is you and your mindset. Because if you don't change anything about you and your mindset right now, we are going to fumble the bag. And is fumbling the bag an option? I need everybody to put in the chat, we will not fumble the bag. Drop it in the chat. We not fumbling bags. Let's go. That is not allowed. That is not permitted. Yes, yes, yes. We are not fumbling bags. We didn't decide to choose ourselves right now and make ourselves a priority to fumble the bag. We didn't choose to sit up there and make this investment in ourselves to turn around and fumble the bag. That's not an option. We're not doing that. That's a no-go. So first and foremost, I'm Sunshine. I'm going to be your accountability advisor. And so, yeah, it's, it's going to get real. And I promise you, one thing you will learn about me is I don't care where you at, what state you in, what city you in, I will pull up and park on you if you are not doing what you're supposed to do for you. Because this isn't about me. This isn't about the team. This is about y'all. We are all here for y'all. And believe it or not, every coach that you're going to see in this program, we are actually accountable for doing the work with you. So regardless of what our assignment is, as far as the mentees is concerned, we are responsible for doing the work as well. So you have to know that. But it all starts with accountability. Drop that in the chat. It all starts with accountability. And the first rule in this room is that we must and will have accountability for ourselves. It's a must. It's an absolute must. It's an absolute must. Who are we being accountable for? Let me see it. Who are we being accountable for? This chat, mm -hmm, this chat should be moving so fast. What's wrong? Y'all still sleep? Y'all still sleep? Y'all woke? Y'all better wake up. Everybody unmute. Everybody unmute. Come off mute. Because the first rule in here is high energy, big energy. Hey, I'm ready. We are. Yeah. We ready to go. Yeah. 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 Ye
Everybody good? Yep, we good. <laughs> okay, okay. Because this chat still is not moving fast enough. All right, somebody said, of course. You said, of course, but I bet you somebody might not have brushed their teeth yet. <laughs> I could almost promise you. Sometimes you just got to roll out the bed and get to it, right? Right, King Wayne? I see you at work. I love it. And you still in here. That's, the, that's what I'm talking about, family. Get in the room no matter what and always show up for yourself. So if you can turn your cameras on, please do. Please turn your cameras on right now. Completely show up for yourself all the way through and through. If you can't, we understand. But if you absolutely can, please do so at this moment. So first thing I want to know from y'all, right, is y'all made this decision. Well, as a matter of fact, I want to hear from about three people, 30 seconds or less, raise your virtual hand. Tell me what made you make the decision to make this investment into yourself right now. I didn't know how to raise my hand. Okay, so for those that don't know, you're going to go into reactions. If you're on your laptop, go into reactions. And when you click on reactions, it gives you the option to raise your hand. From your phone, it should pretty much be the same thing. King Terrence, come talk to me, King. What made hey, you hey, good morning again. Grand rising to you. What's going on? <laughs> That's right. Um, honestly, it was just like, uh, like, so for, for me, for the most part, like I, I'm normally on a grind anyway, just trying to figure this thing out. I do most of my work from the inside of my truck, believe it or not. Like I launched all my LLCs right here, but then it's like, um, just trying to figure it out. It's it been a little struggle, you know? So it was like, all right, once y'all kind of came into the play or whatever, and then dropping the sauce, like what Smitty been giving was like, oh, nah, like there go right there. Like, I don't want to recreate the wheel. I'm trying to find somebody who already made it real quick. Like, you know? <laughs> Like, give, give me that hand. I'm here. Like, you know what I mean? So it, it was a perfect opportunity. And then these calls right here keep you going. Like, when you got that slow little morning, come in here, get that pickup real quick. Like, so, yeah, y'all keeping us sharp for real. Y'all keeping us good. I love it. Y'all put in the chat. Did go? <laughs> did go? He found what he was looking for. Drop it in the chat. Did go? See, it's all about that intention. You manifested that. Right. Because you was looking for it. You was tired, tired of the struggle, tired of running the rat race. And guess what? Sometimes we have no idea, but it goes to show you how powerful your mind is. How Because in your mind, everything that happens, everything that comes out your mouth, everything that we choose to move in, it starts in our mind first. In your mind, you was tired and you were sick and tired of being tired. And in your mind, you manifested exactly where you are at this very moment, King. You, you was looking for yeah, it. Yeah, y'all on point. <laughs> y'all really did come at a great time. Like, I just bought my truck and everything for my other business, my Chug a company, and then, like I said, I stumbled across y'all. I was like, damn, like, here we go. It's it just been all flowing for real. So, like, mm -hmm. I told Smitty when I got in there, I was like, nah, bro, I couldn't miss that opportunity. Y'all start going crazy, like, that whole five uh, five days. Absolutely. Nah, so, so we locked in. That's I'm happy cool. to be around everybody, man. Everybody posting every day what they doing. Like, these are the type of people I need to be around on a regular. Like, I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool. Y'all y'all good people, man. I'm, I'm good with this, for real. Yeah, I love it. Y'all better show. I King. appreciate it all. Oh, we appreciate you. Thank you, King, for being who you are. Thank you for showing up for yourself. Everybody, drop. No doubt. Same to y'all. Drop love <laughs> in the chat. Drop y'all right. and show the King Terrence some love because he's not playing. He did not come to play. It is not a game. He said, "What? Don't put this in my face and think I'm not going to take this opportunity." Drop locked in in the chat, family. Let's go. Let's go, y'all. All right, Queen Kana. Come talk to me, Queen. Sunshine. Good morning, love. Hey, I'm rising, my love. Look at that glow. Well, you know, it's it's a no-brainer for me. Like, why I, I came in, like, I got in the room, and I told y'all I'm staying in the room. I'm, I'm not going nowhere. Once you let me in there, okay, now you just stuck with me. So I showed up in Atlanta and gave you a hug every time I walked past you. Gave Jasmine a hug every time I, just all the coaches, everybody that I saw. Yeah, we, we're, we're one now. Um, but why I'm here is for growth, transformation, and just all the opportunities. Like, he just said it. 
first time I seen y'all, talk to y'all. Okay, these my these my people. I need to be around them all the time. So for, for me, it was just a no-brainer. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it was such a pleasure to see you in person and love on you in person and get those hugs because we wasn't turning none of them down. We don't turn no hugs down. We love hugging on the family. And so any opportunity that you get to be at a mogul meetup of any sort, at any type of meetup with your mentors, with your coaches, do not take that for granted. Please, please, please make sure that you allow yourself to meet and interact and connect on another level with your coaches and your mentors, because I want y'all to know, I don't know who's ever been in a mentorship program before and who hasn't, but there's not a lot of mentors and mentorship programs that's going to allow you to get this close to them, that's going to actually interact with you, that actually cares about every single part of your process in this, your mentors, care about your success here and that is one thing that actually keeps us separate from everybody else we different in here i need y'all to drop we different <laughs> drop we different in the chat y'all because we different you know have me singing this morning hey. sunshine look <laughs> It's, it's our facts. We definitely different. And so, again, thank you, Queen, for showing up, for coming out there, and for continuously not just showing up in the rooms, but the way you show up for yourself is so appreciated. Don't you ever, ever, ever stop doing that. Don't dim your light. I need everybody to show the Queen Cana some love in the chat, y'all. We appreciate y'all for having me. Thank y'all for loving me, and thank y'all for showing me how to love myself better. Mm -hmm. it's, look, I'm excited, son. I'm excited. It's day one. Let's go. Absolutely. It's day one, family. Put day one in the chat, y'all. We just getting started. And this is the preliminaries, to be honest with you. <laughs> this is just the preliminaries, because I'm trying to tell you, but we don't try to do anything around here. We just do. So everybody, let's get that out the way right now. Okay? We're going to get that out the way right now. That word trying, we cutting it. When y'all get up in here, I'm telling you, our energy coach Jasmine, she gonna come through and she gonna she gonna cut you at the knees. Don't even say a tr word around her, okay? I don't care if your name is Travis and it start with a tr. Be careful, okay? Because it said if it sound anything like trying, okay, it's gonna be a problem. Y'all better stop playing. So I'm letting you know right now. That's one of the first rules in here again. We not trying anything. We doing it. We getting it done. We getting it done in these rooms. I love y'all the life. I love it. Queen Kana, thank you so much, love. King Turk, come talk to us, King. Morning, morning. Um, Really, for real, I'm here because I refuse to go work for anybody else. Since I got fired in November, I was like, I'd be damned if I could give anybody a chance to find my ass ever again. You feel me? So hey, once Smitty said that, that opportunity was here, let me get that. <laughs> Absolutely. He said never again. You Free. not you will not get the opportunity to tell me I'm fired. What? Mm -hmm. I, nah. Uh -uh. <laughs> And so I understand, I understand that process. And so what mm -hmm. I want to know is though, because sometimes, honestly speaking, we make decisions, right? Prematurely, not really thinking it all the way out because we move from a sense of emotion, right? We'd be like, mm -hmm. yeah, nah. However, could a job that you choose right now possibly help you conquer some of the goals that you're attempting to conquer as you become the entrepreneur that you want to be for yourself? I don't see a job helping me. I, I, I just see a job in a way, to, to be honest, because I was always having to ask to can I to try to go to events like and, and getting denied, like vacation time, all that stuff. So I, a job won't help me at all. Not my Paula. I understand that. I understand <laughs> that mistake. But could you choose a job possibly that could have a schedule, right? Because financially, are you where you need to be? Oh, no, definitely not where I need to be or where I want to be, but. Okay. So yeah. what I'm asking you is, could you choose something even maybe part-time where you're not really working for them, but they kind of working for you? 
to help you support and supply what you want and need to become the entrepreneur that you want to become right now at this very moment? Um, about yeah, I mean, yeah, if I if it was a certain where I know where I'm what time I'll be working, probably could I could set it up that way, but so what's possible. stopping you from setting it up that way? Because we like, nah, you're not gonna ever be able to fire me again. What's stopping you from setting it up that way? Um, it's nothing stopping me. I just refuse to go work for anybody's <laughs> job if it ain't. If it ain't for me personally, I'm not doing it. I like I was in upper management. I, I was a coach at Walmart. You feel me? I, I done seen the the other side of it. And it's I know it ain't for me. Like 100 percent Like they don't care about you. No, they really don't. I, I can't yeah. even talk on that part. Like they really don't. One thing I will tell you, and, and as you meet all the mentors and as you you get acquainted, more acquainted with our mindset mogul. One thing and our big mogul and Smith, all, all everybody, like Mr. Brooklyn Business, Smitty, everybody, as you get more acquainted, what you're going to wind up learning is no matter what it is that you choose to do as an entrepreneur, trust and believe you're working for everybody. Yeah. You will be now working for everybody because you're now your own boss. And in order to sit up there and have the income that you want, there's a certain impact that you have have to have on everybody in order for them to pay you so you're not even going to be working for you you still going to be working for everybody else but it's a different level though and i get you i get you all day because i walked away from my job so i know that having that control giving somebody that much power to be able to tell me when i can and cannot do something and all the rest of that especially after giving your all to somebody um it gets a little bit difficult but I'm not going to sit up here and not tell you the truth about anything. Had I planned it differently, could I have maneuvered and put myself in a better position? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. We can always put ourselves in a better position. Drop better position in the chat, family, because that's what it's all about. Putting ourselves in a better position because that's why y'all are here right now. That's why everybody is here right now is to put ourselves into a better position. And so, King, think about it. If it ain't for you, don't do it. However, if it can help to put you in a better position to get you to where you want to get to quicker, because we attempting to do this with speed. We moving with speed. So if it could help, get to it. If not, then you know that, listen, you got to get to it all day, every day for the self, grind time, grind time every day. You got to sit up there and show up for yourself every single day because now you only eat what you kill at this point. When it's all on you, you only eat what you kill. And if you don't eat them kind of things, then we already know you got to water them plants. <laughs> water your plants all day, every day. All right. So I appreciate you, King. Thank you. Y'all better show the King some love in the chat. Appreciate you too. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Absolutely. Y'all show the King Turk some love. Queen Jasmine. What's going on, love? How are you this morning? I am amazing. How are you? I'm good. Beautiful. What's going on? I just want to say happy new day to everyone. Mm -hmm. Um, I just want to take this chance to kind of drop a gem. I say happy new day because morning to confuse the universe and what you want. Morning is a sad word. So um, I just always try to tell everyone, when they be like, what's new day? It's a new day. New is also in you, which is frequency. It's a new frequency that we are all entering. It's a new part of life that we are all welcoming. And I just wanted to share that. Um, however, I am here because all my life, I've always felt like I was out of place. Always felt like I saw things differently. Always felt like I view things differently. And um, I've joined a lot of different mentorships and I always still felt that way. Um, and I always felt like they were gatekeeping, telling you just enough, but not enough to actually get you to where you needed to be. And I just don't feel that way here. I feel like this is really, this is really it. I really feel like my season is here. And I feel like I'm finally in a room of people who actually want to share and uplift each other and really see each other win. And that feeling right there is just like, it's contagious. It's like, oh my God, yeah, this is it. It's undeniable. And I'm just really excited to be here because I'm tired of being the smartest person in the room. I'm tired of being a person that's always uplifting other people. And yeah, 
if you're the smartest in the room, you're already at your pinnacle. And I'm tired of, I'm trying to pass my pinnacle. I feel like I have came a far and long way from the Bronx. I'm in Atlanta. I'm by myself. I have three kids and I'm not with their father. And I'm just tired of, sorry for my language, but busting my ass. I'm tired of exchanging my time for everything and always being exhausted. And everybody's like, but how do you do it? I'm like, because I worked my ass off. I'm mm. tired of working my ass off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to to relax, but I'm ready to use my mind and work smarter and not harder, if that makes sense. Absolutely. Queen Jasmine. I need everybody to show Queen Jasmine some love in the chat. And so there's so many things that you said that I completely resonate with. So I understand it. I'm from New York as well. I'm in the A now myself as well. And so I get it. I'm no longer with my kid's father. So I, I get it. But unfortunately, you know, the 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 news that I'm going to have to tell you is that when you decide to become an entrepreneur, <laughs> the working your booty off, baby. <laughs> baby. Well, I've, been working, I've been working for myself <laughs> for the last 12 years. I haven't, ha I haven't had a real job. I'm 35. I haven't had a real, actually 15 years. I haven't had a real job since I was 20. Yes. So okay. I've been, you know, creative for the last 15 years. <laughs> Absolutely. And so but now I'm take that creativeness to the next level. There you go, right there. Because now what you have to do is put the systems and tools in place now. Correct. Because you've done so much of the work. Now put the systems and tools in place to start lightening your load some. And so many of us, especially as entrepreneurs, we have a, a major issue with delegation because we always feel like in our mind, who's going to do it the way we do it? Nobody. But the truth of the matter is, is that we can't do it all by ourselves anyway. So we might as well get out of that mindset as far as who's going to do it the way we do it. Maybe not exactly 100%, but over time, train them. Get everything in place. Put everything in place so that you can now keep being that creator because you're the creator. And the creator isn't inside of everything. The creator is using a mind and it is creating <laughs> And now you have systems in place, tools in place, and other things in place to help you execute on what it is that you decided to create. Oh, I mean, it's here. Can I, can I be so transparent? Absolutely. I need accountability on being consistent. I have I have lost the, the desire to blow my bag as far as going outside and partying. But like I said, I'd be tired. I'll run it up. And I'll be like, I need a break. And then next thing you know, my bag just do this. Do, 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 mm -hmm. do, do. And then I'm like, all right. Then I get that, that get that drive again. I'm like, all right, uh -uh, I can't, I can't get on my ass. Got to keep going. And then I get up and then I run it up again. But I'm tired of that cycle. I'm tired of the up and down. I wanted to go up, 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 up. <laughs> you know you should be tired of that cycle absolutely and so i need y'all to drop in the chat can y'all tell me what accountability is can y'all break down the two words that compose accountability mm -hmm. they go one of them discipline yeah we got the energy going. okay what's the other one family there we go consistency that's what we're talking about. So many of us have an issue with the consistency part, right? And the truth of the matter is, like, honestly speaking, once you sit up there and put certain things in place, you'll never have to worry about that again. So how do you feel about, like, actually getting some VAs to help you out so that even when you're exhausted and you feel like you just can't right now, you already right. have some VAs in place? That is getting paid to keep it going, no matter whether you're on your high, your mid, or your low, the train don't stop running. Exactly. Wouldn't that That's be what I'm here. Ideal. <laughs> <laughs> That would be yes, absolutely yeah. ideal. So that's what we have to do. I want you to map it out. Map out the plan. Map out the plan for yourself as far as like, okay, I don't want to keep doing this roller coaster. So what would I need to put in place to make sure that even when I'm in these moments, my train doesn't stop moving forward? And map that out. And this is a very, very important part of this, y'all. Has everybody taken the time out to write down their goals? Drop it in the chat. Has everybody taken the time out to write out your goals? Because if you if you haven't, it's a must do ASAP, like ASAP. And they need to be detailed. Does your goals have a date on it? 
Drop it in the chat. Is it dated? When do you plan on accomplishing those goals? Queen Jasmine, thank you for bringing all of us present to ourselves because consistency and discipline is something that we all need. Thank you. Absolutely. We appreciate you, Queen. Y'all show some love to the Queen Jasmine in the chat family. We got two more hands and then we moving on. King K, what we talking about, King? Because you getting to it. What's goody? What's goody? What's oh, I never really, um, I never really get a chance to really come on to these, but um, so I, I wanted to um speak to um oh boy that was actually about the uh you know not working for nobody else, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. So, King Tom. Um, I mean, you you already know my my story. I mean, it's macaroni, it's, it's macaroni it, cheese it, instead of so it. It sound good. <laughs> it and it do um and i've been doing it obviously for six years for uh for about six months now in january and i came from a job that was i was when i was making a half a ticket right so the biggest thing i can say is i already had the mindset from doing door to door of like a 1099 you know pretty much eating what you kill right i would say the biggest thing during this time if you are adamant about doing that right is keep in mind that when you have an employer, quote unquote, you can have that employer be your client, right? That was the mind flip that I had to understand. Like if I had a nine to five, I turned my nine to five into who my client was. So if I was working for AT&T, I was working for whoever, all of those checks was going into my business bank account. So when you go to get funding, you could just say, okay, you're getting this check from Walmart. Okay, well, Walmart, I actually, I'm a vendor for Walmart, so I get, you know, checks coming into my business bank account, you know, as a, as, you know, so just flip that mindset. If you're working a nine to five, it's not a nine to five. They're just your client, you know, until you're able to leave, you know, but all in all, family, it's this, this community right here is going to show you all of the game. That was just like a small cake crumb compared to everything that you're about to learn. So I just wanted to hop on to get that little tidbit. I so appreciate you, King K. And if anybody got something out of that, because please believe we are all in this room with like-minded people. And the truth of the matter is, is like, it is such a pleasure. It's a breath of fresh air. Drop breath of fresh air in the chat, y'all. Because it is such a breath of fresh air to be in a room with people that understand your language, that understand your mindset right now, that understand the things that you are attempting to do. And so we could all really sit here around a campfire and congregate and talk to each other about the different things that needs to be done and how to maneuver through it because everybody in here is on their own journey. But believe it or not, we have been through so many of the same things. And so thank you, King K for shedding that light, shedding that word. We truly appreciate you. And I need everybody to show the King K some love in the chat, please. We appreciate you, King. Next up, what that say? Dr. Jaja, okay, King Shakur. What's going on, King? Hold on, you gotta unmute, King. Can you see it? Can you hit unmute? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Good morning, Dr. Jaja Shakur. Hey, girl. What's up? What's up, Sunshine? What's going on? How you feeling, King? I'm feeling amazing. I'm feeling great. I'm out in Jersey. It's a nice sunny day. It's going to be 87 degrees. And it's sunshine like your sunshine. Hey, let's go, y'all. Drop sunshine in the chat. Y'all put them sunshine emojis in the chat. Yeah. Whether or not the sun is shining where you at, the sun is always shining somewhere. Okay, especially in these rooms. Y'all better understand it. Drop them sunshine emojis in the chat, everybody. So how you feeling, King? Talk to I'm, us. I'm, I'm feeling amazing. You know, I've been, um, you know, going through this journey of, you know, economic freedom and financial freedom. I'm definitely glad I joined you know, the group with, with everyone, with Smitty, with yourself, as well as with, you know, Mindset. That was amazing. Um, You know, that week was amazing. It was an eye-opener. Um, so for me, right, I, I've been in education for 30 years, been a professor, high school, college, elementary school, after school programming, 
as well as in the music industry for 30 years. But now, um, you know, during COVID, my mom died from COVID in 2020. I got laid off from education in 2020. Got laid off in a, um, where's Sunshine at? <laughs> Okay, yeah, got laid off from education, got laid off from, you know, so I ended up, you know, working for one of the largest uh, transportation hubs in the East Coast, which is the New Jersey Transit System. So to make a long story short, I'm looking to retire in June um, after 30 years, 40 years working and go full-time entrepreneurship, um, taking, you know, working with, you know, you guys, um, create the funding company, the credit business. Um, so everything is good, but, you know, what I realized the challenge for all of us, but I'm saying include myself, is compound financial trauma. Mm -hmm. the compound financial trauma is when, you know, you have the ability to get the freedom, but we'd be so scared because nobody never gave us no trust fund. I didn't have it, no money. So every time you're getting, you know, when Smitty talk these big numbers and talk about going to the bank, sometimes you cringe because not so much you can't do it. You know you could do it, but you have a fear that you can't do it sometime or fear that somebody gonna tell you no or fear for me, technology, like today, I came on the call late because I don't know nothing about no telegram. I'm, for, I'm forever 50, you know? I don't know nothing about no technology like that. So I'm Generation X, I'm still writing stuff with pen and paper and I get a little bit, you know, disturbed by that when I don't know how to work the technology in the best way. So you said it so eloquently, you say, you know, you gotta delegate. So that's what I'm looking to do now, looking to hire people who can work with me, who know the technology. So it won't be, you know, something that I use as an excuse to magnify, you know, what I'm striving to do, which is to build financial freedom for myself, my family, my heirs, and, um, and, and you know, and continue to build it for the future. So that's where I'm at right now. I love it, King. I absolutely, I need everybody to drop no more excuses in the chat. No more. Yeah. None of us. We have no room for any more excuses, especially when you already made the decision. And that is one thing that you all did. Y'all actually made the decision right now to invest into yourself to now get to the next level of your life. And so we don't have time to be playing. We don't have time for the excuses because we already know what the excuses, the kind of life we're going to live if we keep up with those same excuses. We're not going nowhere. But right. in these rooms, when these accountability calls, with the mentors that you have, that is no longer an option. And one thing that we need to know as far as these accountability calls and just having accountability in life, period, our mindset mogul always lets us know is that without accountability, nothing works. Drop that in the chat, family. Without accountability, nothing works. And like that is such a true statement. Because at the end of the day, what I want everybody to do, and we're going to be here for you, we're going to sit up there and we're going to work through these accountability calls with each other. We're going to support each other. We're going to love on each other. But at the end of the day, when the Zoom ends, it's you versus you. Yeah. It's you versus you. And it's so important. Right. We hold ourselves accountable in those moments because you spend more time with yourself than anybody else. And so outside of these calls, when the program's, and when everything else, like all the lights go out everywhere else, the light is always still shining on you. Mm -hmm. It's always still shining on you. So at the end of the day, we have to learn to become and be accountable for ourselves. While these accountability calls are going to give you everything, we're going to pour into you in ways that you couldn't possibly believe. But there's nothing better than you learning how to pour into yourself. Because you might need it at a time when it could be three o'clock in the morning and the accountability call isn't happening, right? It's just you and you. You got to be able to know, and this is for everybody. You have to be able to know how to quiet the negatives that's going on in our mind. You have to be able to know how to shut that down. You have to be able to know that this is just the beginning to you going to your next level and life is going to be life in. The devil is going to get busy. Your mind is going to tell you that you won't be able to be different, that you're going to stay the same. You're not, what? You're not going to do nothing different. It don't matter how much you invest it. Um, it's time to show up and show out because all of that is a lie. We have to quiet the negative self-talk, y'all. And so we have to be accountability to ourselves, with ourselves, for ourselves. 25-8. We ain't even talking about the 
258. And we all may need help building that up. And we're going to be here for you to make sure that you get to that point. Um, As a matter of fact, hold on, because I know there's somebody else in this room other than Sunshine. Hold on. Where she at? Where they energy is? Where she is? Come on. <laughs> not, not with that face. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on hey look i need everybody to drop them green batteries in the chat right now because if you don't know she you about to find out <laughs> drop them green batteries in the chat this is our <laughs> energy coach everybody this is the queen jasmine put them green batteries in the chat family what's going on what's going on energy coach what up y'all what up what up king jaja dr jaja Okay, Shakur. Hey, King. <laughs> hey, Peace Quay. What's going on? <laughs> Listen, my voice is recuperating from this weekend. I heard Kano earlier talk about David Power talks about. I'm like, listen, we gonna make it work because we in every room <laughs> doing everything we need possible to get to the next level. So right. I'm definitely happy to be here. I was reading my scripture this morning and. It just went in about, you know, letting God know, thank you for allowing us to impact the world because that's really what we have, right? Jasmine was talking about the fact that, you know, she don't really want to talk about morning. It's a new day, right? And with that being said, we got to be grateful that we have the new day. It's real yeah. selfish of us to think we just have all these days to just come up, wake up, do what we want to do. Oh, maybe I'll get on the call. Maybe I'll get in the class. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get to the homework. Maybe I'll be consistent. That's selfish. That's real selfish because we don't have every day, right? We have to thank God that we have the day to make the impact that he wants us to make. And that's why we're here today. So I'm just grateful to be in the presence of everyone that is elite, the best of the best, the top of the top, the what of the crop, the what of the crop, the cuisine of the crop. Shout out to everybody on here. And also shout out to the fathers here. Like y'all are amazing and it's nothing like a king to be in the presence. So Thank you, Dr. Jaja, and thank you everyone that has just been supportive of each other because it takes a village. It say it take a village to raise a child. Well, it take a village to raise a business. It take a village to raise a bank account. It take a village to raise mm -hmm. all that, all that, okay? So just know we are all a part of that village, and we are each one, reach one, teach one, each, every single one of us, and you matter. Everything we do matters. So if we need, if somebody needed the charger this morning to charge that battery up, Listen, we here. If you needed that sunshine to wake up, that crust out your eyes, we here. If you need that magnifying glass to get the clarity in what you need to do in your business, we here. If you need to travel and do what you need to do, we here. We have the community management. We have everything that you need inside. And if we don't, please, please make sure that you're always communicating because we are a community of prosperity and love and connectivity. So I love y'all and whatever we got to do. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is your energy coach. This is Queen Jasmine family. And y'all better show the doctor Jaja that king some love in the chat because he came in here breaking it down. And it is it is so imperative. Like you said, 30 years, 20 years, like any amount of years, when you give something that much of your time and dedication, I want you to know, King, before we let you off this screen, it's time for you now to pour that type of dedication and that amount of time into yourself. Because could you only imagine that if you sat up there and took the time out to pour that amount of time and energy and all the sacrifices that you made for somebody else, if you pour that into yourself, where could you be? Where would you be? But you're going to be there because right now it's a new day. And it's so crazy that we're talking about new days because show some love to the king in the chat, y'all. We love you to life in here, king. We love you to life. Uh, when I got up this AM, I went into the school community and that was what I wrote today. Um, that was probably maybe around two hours ago. Uh, today is a new day. I need everybody to drop that in the chat. Today is a new day. And so that is nothing but alignment. Nothing but alignment to sit up there and say that when I woke up, that was the first thing that was on my mind and my heart. And I went into that school community and I wrote that today is a new day. And so anything that you did not like about yesterday, anything that you feel like you may have not done or didn't complete, today is a new day. Complete everything today 
that you didn't complete. Like make a decision today to be different. Make a decision to be a better version of you. Today, y'all, is a new day. And so anything that we have going on, any part of our life that we're not content with or satisfied with, today is a new day. Today. And so you can get it done. You're going to get it done. Because if you're in these type of rooms with this type of community, please know you don't have a choice. Please know we're not accepting nothing but the best in here. And we're not talking about the coaches. We're not talking about the mentors. We're talking about you. And we're talking about you. And we're talking about you right there. And you, and that's you, King Devante, Tefante, Devante, Devante. That's you, King. I done spoke to you a few times, King, and you in the room. That's you, Queen Janice. Janice, it's you. It's you, Queen. King Terrence, it's you. Can't nobody tell nobody different. King T, it's you all day. King Drew, it's you. You the best of the best. I need y'all to understand that. And y'all don't have to come on to these accountability calls to hear it or to know it. King Turk, it's you. It's always been you. Queen Zell, it's you. It's always been you. Y'all don't need us to tell y'all that. Y'all better not need us to tell you that. You supposed to already know that. And if I know that somewhere deep in your soul, you know it because you took the time out to invest in you at this time. Y'all did this. We didn't do it. Y'all did this. Queen Maurice, it's you. You the best of the best. Because we at the top of the top. Because we going to always be the cream of the crop. We not playing with it. Everybody, Yasmin, Queen, it's you. King Jalen, it's you. Oh, we got the King Will Francisco in the building. King Will, it's you. Where you been, family? Where you been? Queen Delisha, it's you. Queen Whitney, it's you. We got that legacy building in the building. Queen, it's you. King K, it's you. I need every single last one of y'all to know and understand that you have always been the one. You're going to always be the one. And in these rooms, in this community, it's never the two. Never the two. We always the one. Queen Monique, I see you. It's you, y'all. And all we need y'all to do is show up for yourselves at, your, at this time. And so, again, right now, this is all about making sure that we get our minds right, y'all. Because the truth of the matter is, is that none of us are 100% mentally where we need to be to have the kind of success that we plan on having. Even if we've made strides, even if we've improved, we're still not all the way there. We are still doing some things that we know we need to shake. And a lot of us got these bad habits, y'all. We got to check ourselves. We got to get rid of some of these bad habits really in order to have the success that we want. Drop, we getting rid of bad habits in the chat, family. We got to let those go. Inside of this community, y'all, if you have not written down your goals, please do not let today go by. As a matter of fact, write it now. We not even wait until later on. Write it now. Be accountable right now. Right at this very moment. If you have not written down what your goals are, then what are you aiming for? If you have not written down what your goals are, then what are you focusing on? You just here to be here? Now we're not doing that no more. You did that before. You've been in rooms where you was just winging it before. We're not doing that no more. We are moving with intention. Drop, move with intention in the chat. We're moving with intention. Our focus has to be laser sharp now. See, when you decided to invest into yourself now, this is a different level, y'all. When we talking about the elites, when we talking about, like we passed that five-day stage, that was just the introductory part, y'all. Now it's really time to do the work. It's going to get real hectic sometimes. It's supposed to. I need y'all to understand that. This is not going to just happen for you. You have to execute. You have to put in the work. 
all of our mentors are going to sit up there and give us the blueprint. They're going to lay it out for us. But it means nothing if you do not do the work. And inside of this room, in this community, we're constantly talking about our primary focus is what, y'all? What's the primary focus? If you know, you know. Drop it in the chat. What's the primary focus is to become what? More what? What we becoming? And less what? Drop it in the chat, y'all. Come on. Let's get it right. Becoming more effective in less time. That's what I'm talking about. So we're not waiting until later if you don't have your goals right now. We're not waiting until later to write it. We're going to write them right now. While we're being accountable, Sunshine is holding you accountable right now to write down your goals. At least three. Right now. Y'all are all going to be getting on the Love Plus app. We are going to guide you and navigate you the best way that we possibly can to make sure that you can get into that app and get on that app to make sure that you are being accountable. That's where all your information is going to be at for pretty much everything that you need inside of the elite mentorship. Anything that you need to know as far as what we're doing and how we're moving is going to primarily be inside of that app. And so at this time, before we go today, I need everybody to either sign on to the loveplus.com or download the Love Plus app to your cell phone. And what your homework is, is to make sure you get that profile filled out and make sure that it is not private. We not private in here. We family. We family, y'all. Make sure that you go inside of loveplus.com and fill out your profile or go on loveplus.com on your phone. I mean, download the app onto your phone and please make sure that you fill out your profile immediately. That is an absolute must. So we're getting focused. Well, no, first we're setting the intention we're getting focused family. And this is all about preparation. What you're doing right now is you're getting prepared for the rest of this week. You're getting prepared for the rest of your mentorship. You're putting everything in place to make sure that you have everything you need so that we don't have any more excuses. Real quick. I don't know why this just came on the heart, but it did. Um, and so I'm going to ask because I've been ignoring it but it's here. Is there anybody in this room that's um, dealing with some difficult times right now? If you are, can you just raise your virtual hand? You don't necessarily have to come up and speak about it, but is there anybody in here that is dealing with some difficult times right now? Mm -hmm. And this is why I wouldn't leave. I attempted to ignore it. And this is exactly why I wouldn't leave. So we pretty much have just as many hands up now, if not more. As a matter of fact, let me be transparent with you. Anybody else? where things are just feeling really, really heavy right now. And you're having a difficult time. Mm -hmm. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for being honest. Thank you for being 100% honest. Because at this moment, as you can see, we have more hands up right now than we did for anything else. And this is real life, y'all. This is this right here. This is our truth. Is that in the midst of us choosing to make a different decision for ourselves, to look to go to the next level, there's so many of us in here right now that are dealing with some really difficult things that is going through a lot.
One thing our mindset mogul tells us all the time, y'all, is that we have to learn to see difficulty differently. And that's a real thing, family. I'm not saying to ignore it. I'm not saying to dilute it. What I'm saying is in the midst of, because as you can see, my hand is up as well. But in the midst of, Every single day that you have inside of your mentorship, don't you let not one single day go to waste. Because what I need you to do in the midst of every single thing that's going on, as you see me right now on the screen in front of you, show up for you. I know it's hard. I know it seems difficult. But we're going to see difficulty differently to the point where we're going to learn to use it as a stepping stone. We're going to learn to use it to motivate us. We're going to learn to let it be that force that pushes us on our back. And so when you feel like your back is up against the wall right now, the difficulty that I want you to see differently is that wall isn't there anymore. Your community is behind you supporting you. I want you to see a community. I want you to see us. And I want you to feel our hands on your back, holding you up and pushing you forward. We are seeing difficulty differently today. I don't know too many rooms like this anywhere, but I want you to know today that you've entered into a place and a space that you probably won't find anywhere else. You're not alone. I need everybody to drop Yana in the chat. As you can see, if you don't have gallery view, please put it on gallery view right now. If you can afford to put this on gallery view, I want y'all to look at the screen on gallery view right now. And I need everybody to drop a Yana in the chat because you can see that you're not alone. You're not alone, y'all. I'm not alone even though sometimes it feels like it, I'm not alone. And so I want you to know that you have a community that's right here, that's gonna love you and support you, yet keep you accountable, not to anything in this world, but you. Because if you continue to show up for you, first and foremost, I promise you, you will have everything that you want, need and desire in spite of. I want y'all to put in spite of, Cause nothing can stop us. We all the way what? We all the way what? We all the way what? <laughs> Cause nothing can stop us. We all the way what? We can't stop and we won't stop y'all. I don't care what it is because when, I'm not gonna say if you knew, cause when I tell you my story, when I tell you what was going on, as I showed up on these accountability calls, some of y'all gonna be like, man, stop playing. She lying. <laughs> Wasn't no way in the world she was on these calls like this. <laughs> when that was taking place in her life, yup. Cause nothing can stop me. Cause nothing can stop me. Cause nothing can stop me. Cause nothing will stop you. Cause nothing will stop you. Put nothing will stop me in the chat, y'all. Put it in the chat. Because my heart gets heavy when I see all these hands, but I understand it. I understand it. I relate to it. I'm there with you. We can't stop and we won't stop. I want y'all to know that I love y'all to life and I promise you, you will never be alone again. If you ever felt alone, you will never be alone again because you're in a community, again, that's gonna love you and support you through this process. But please know we don't play with it. Jazz dropping in the chat, let them know, queen. We don't play with it in here. We don't play with it. We are super serious about your success. We are super serious about holding you accountable to your goals. We are super serious about you showing up and doing the work. We are super serious about all of that. Now the question is, are you that serious? Are you that serious about you? Because that's the only thing that's going to make a difference. Please don't play with it. Because these days are going to fly by, y'all. These days are going to fly by 
And there was a time when I allowed myself to sit up here in this room and this, this blessing of a space. And I blew it. Y'all, I blew it. I blew the opportunity by allowing myself to suffer in my circumstances. Y'all will not suffer in your circumstances. Don't you dare. I want you to stay focused on your goals. Put, we will not suffer in our circumstances in the chat. I blew it, y'all. The accountability calls was happening. The, I had 90 days in my mentorship and I blew it. I knew that I needed this space. I felt like I was suffocating. I blew it thinking that the day was never going to come, that this was going to end. It ended on my, you know what? My caboose, it ended. It ended. It was over. They were saying bye-bye. And I was like, wait, 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 this can't be over yet. Wait, I didn't, do, I didn't do what I needed to do. Wait, nothing is going to wait for you. So decide right now that you will not waste one second inside of this mentorship, y'all. Do not waste one second. Don't you become another sunshine? Because let me tell you something. What happened with me is God knows my heart. I got a second chance. And that's why you see me right now. I was given a second chance. That is the only reason why you see me right now. But how many of us know that a lot of the times we don't get that second chance? When it's over, it's over. I thank God for seeing me. I thank God for aligning me exactly where I needed to be. I thank God for showing me me. I thank God for putting me in a place where people could sit up there and show me me. I thank God for having the mentors that I have that believe in me when I didn't believe in myself. And that's where you are right now. So if you're not loving yourself properly, it's going to show up. It's going to show up in this room and it's going to show up in this mentorship because you finally chose to take your life to the next level. But what's about to be exposed is us. We are about to be exposed to us, y'all. If you're not loving yourself properly, it's going to show. But I promise you, we're going to love on you so much that you're going to start loving yourself in a way that you probably never have. If you're not believing in yourself, it's going to show. All of it is going to show. But we believe in you enough to pour into you in spite of when you don't believe in you, we believe in you. And you're going to start believing in yourself too because you don't have a choice. Not in here. We are going to do everything in our willpower to make sure that you do not waste one day inside of this mentorship. But I want everybody else in here right now to commit can you please commit my family, especially those with their hand up right now? Can you please commit that no matter what it is that you're dealing with, no matter how hard, no matter how heavy, I want you to allow the difficulty to be the force that's going to push you to show up for you. Because if you don't, then nothing in your life is going to change right now. And y'all know what it's like to live the life that you're living. But if you choose to push through it, to walk through it, because we be standing and sitting in that suffering. No, 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 no. We moving through. We passing through this. We're moving through it. And the best part about it is you're not alone. You're not alone. Put I'm not alone in the chat, y'all. I attempted to ignore that feeling that kept saying, like to ask the question, I kept ignoring it. Like, where's that coming from? And my mother always tells me to pay attention to that inner voice. That's and I know why. And I want to thank everybody for right now, raising your hand and being fully transparent. I know that's difficult, especially for our men. And to any of y'all that are fathers in here, Happy belated Father's Day. But I commend you right now for showing up to look to do something different. Because while the world may attempt to tell y'all, y'all don't really matter. <laughs> Baby, y'all see all these queens in here? 
Do y'all see all these queens in here? We love y'all beyond words. And we are going to support y'all in a way that you have probably never been supported before. You matter more than anything on this planet. We need y'all. And so thank you to every king that's in this room right now that decided to be different, to do something different, to show up differently. Thank you. I am about to open the floor for a few minutes. Despite <laughs> a few things, the heart is saying somebody needs to talk or somebody may want to share. Is there anybody at this moment that needs to just release a little bit of what's on their heart right now? If you don't need to, you can lower your virtual hand. If you do need to, please keep your hand up and I will call on you. Oof, y'all. This is a real thing. King James. Hey, how's it going? Good. How are you, King? You good? Good. How are you? I am amazing, especially now that you up here. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate it. Absolutely. <clears throat> so um <clears throat> I've um I have my I have my own my own business um been in the marketing space for for about 20 years now um dealt with some pretty close deaths to me in the near future recently um kind of went down the wrong path with certain things you know hanging around the wrong people got involved in the wrong thing so trying to you know clean up myself now um be there for my daughters um do what I can to make sure that I represent myself to the best of, you know, my ability. Um, it's funny because when you think when you become successful and you start making money, like every, all your problems are going to go away. It's, it's just more, more prevent, more presents itself and you have more obstacles, more people trying to, you know, come at you and, you know, take from you and you got to be very, you know, mindful of that as you're growing, um, where everybody's like, you know, so quick to, <clears throat> you know, be successful. It's like a lot of, lot comes with that. Um, it's not just easy once that happens. Um, so now I'm, you know, trying to, you know, stay away from certain substances and things like that. And so I'm, um, you know, I'm good now, but um, I'm kind of in a position now where I have, might have to you know, go away for a little bit and um, handle a few things and come back a better person. So those are sort of the things that I'm, you know, dealing with right now. I need everybody to show the King James some love in the chat. And so thank you so much for sharing. Um, thank you for investing in yourself. Thank you for showing up right now. And what is the one thing right now that you would say that you really need to focus on the very most right now at this moment um, to help move the needle? Myself, really. I mean, there's like, you got to come sound kind of be like, you have to be like kind of selfish at some point, I guess, and just worry about yourself. But it's hard to do when you have other people that you got to take care of, you know? So that's Absolutely. the hardest part, you know? Anybody else in here in this room resonate with that? Drop Yana in the chat. Trust me. It's a lot of people that knows and understands. I'm one of them. It gets difficult. However, the truth of the matter is that I used to um, do that so much that I was moving from a place of depletion. Because we're so busy giving so much to everybody else. Yeah, you're so worried about keeping everybody else happy. Absolutely. And I want you to... Think about King right now, what it's going to look like when you start pouring that with that you give to everybody else into you 
and imagine what it would look like for your life when everybody else is just getting from your overflow. Mm -hmm. Just even a thought of that just made you feel good, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's what we have to focus on. Everybody that is doing that, including myself, y'all, I want y'all to just look at the aspect of pouring into ourselves just the way, Not you're not cutting anybody off. You're not having to do anything different as far as everything with everybody else. You just got to put yourself a little bit to the front, but just pour everything into you that you give to everybody and then just let that be a part of your overflow because, oh my goodness, <clears throat> If we are creating and loving and making all of the things happen that we make happen from the places of depletion and it's working out for the other people that we're pouring into, could y'all imagine what would happen if they were all now benefiting from our overflow when we have now filled our own cup, which means that the better version of us, the best version of us is now showing up. Could y'all imagine what that would be like? So King... Keep that your focus. We're going to help that be your focus. We're going to support you through that process. We're going to love on you through that process. And as you can see, it's a whole lot of us in here that's going to be working on that as well with you. And I think my hand was up from before and then it's still up. And I'm like, oh, I guess I got to talk now. Because <laughs> I didn't put it up. And then I was like, oh, oh, damn. <laughs> oh, see, and I gave everybody yeah. the opportunity yeah, to yeah. lower their hand too. I no, said it. I, know, I, I missed that part, but I did I did put it up when you said some anybody dealing with anything. And I it was up from then. So yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so while you think you were supposed to put your hand down, apparently you wasn't. Yeah. 100%. None of it is by mistake. <laughs> None of it is by mistake, y'all. And so you've been aligned into a space where you can actually be completely transparent. Y'all are all safe here in this room. And we're working through everything together while we're rising to our next level. Because and I also say like while while everybody's growing, like it, it gets exciting when you're growing a business and you're being successful, but you always have to be mindful to reserve that space for yourself to kind of recenter because, you know, like I said, people start pulling you in different directions. So you have to just be mindful of that and stay true to yourself as much as possible. Absolutely. Again, thank you, King. Y'all show King James some love in the chat if you haven't. Thank you for being exactly who you are for showing up for yourself. We appreciate you, King. You have to have your camera on in order to come up, King Arthur. Queen Whitney as well. There you go. Hey, Queen. Hey, how you doing? Good. How are you, beautiful? Good, good. Um, I want to um kind of give uh King James some um words of encouragement because I am currently at the end of that road of you know making the wrong choices, you know having to deal with the consequences of your actions and accepting your responsibility. Um, I just served um, 24 months in federal prison and um, now at uh, 10 months of home confinement and I am, I will be released in 30 days. The countdown is so real, but during that time, I did have a lot of time to um, reevaluate, um, develop myself in a new light, um, learn how to say no, <laughs> because, you know, taking care of other people and, you know, having that weight on your shoulders can be a lot and, you know, mm -hmm. make us make those decisions, you know, that we feel like will give us a uh a relief or you know be able to provide for our family a lot of times we make decisions based on our burdens you know and not really think about the consequences of our actions at times so just know that you know everything that you're going through and everything that you're dealing with god has had all of this happen for a reason is to make you a better person is to make you stronger is to make you come out even so soaring even stronger than you were before because when i tell you ain't nothing stopping me now ain't nothing getting in my way i am on my way to the top <laughs> and 
it's levels at this point. Like you have to just kind of like, it's going to be rough. It was rough. I can't even lie. You know, it was the roughest thing I ever had to deal with in my life to be away from my kids, to be able, you know, to just put the responsibility of my children completely on their father. And, you know, my family was very supportive. My grandmother, my mother, my sisters, I cannot thank them enough for stepping up to the plate. But, Lord, I think I'm getting a little emotional. But just know that, you know, when you come back home or, you know, whatever the circumstances may be, just know we're here for you. Do that process all the way to the end and just know that when you come back home or whenever your, you know, solution, you know, comes to an end, that we here, we got you and we're going to see you at the top. We're going to have you right at the top with us because I know, I know for a fact that this is it for me. When I saw this opportunity with um, Mailbox Millionaire Academy, I it wasn't no way that I wasn't gonna take this opportunity. This is it for me. I'm I'm a Mailbox Millionaire right now, and it ain't no coming back from that. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, Queen Whitney. Like, thank you so much for all of that, and um, you just brought me fully present to me still doing what I say I'm not going to do, which is ignore. Um, there were some things that, that was on my heart to say to the King James. And every time I thought about it, I felt myself getting extremely emotional. And so I chose to push it to the side. It was like, okay, no, sunshine. <laughs> We're going to keep it together, you know, and we just going to move forward. And um it's crazy because I wrote his name down and I felt like I was going to reach out to him individually. And um, as you were speaking, you know, it just got louder and louder. Like, that's not what I told you to do. I didn't tell you to write his name down. I didn't tell you to <laughs> reach out to him later. I put it on your heart to say right now. And so thank you for being fully present and fully transparent. And Queen, I'm so grateful for you and um, as difficult as that journey may have been, there's a there's a sense of gratitude. Most definitely. That comes with that. Most definitely. And, because it's made me a better person. And so to King James, I'm not sure if you're still in here. Um, I know the last time I checked, you had your camera off. I'm here. Um, okay, so... Um, what was one of the things that was on my heart and I'll just cover one right now is that it's always been really difficult for me I've been one of those people that could not stand for our men to be in those type of situations and I've always taken it kind of like um, I don't know almost personal in a way just being tired of the system mm hmm um, really tired of how mm -hmm. do we all have to be responsible and accountable for our decisions? Yes. But there's so many times where we didn't do anything wrong and we still wind up either in a room we don't belong in or without That's our right. more. And so it just builds up this pent up frustration. And so you came up here and you was exposing a part of me King, that I don't speak on. But I can't imagine what it's like to be in your seat right now, um, to be honest with you, to, to really sit and think about your future days. Um, but I said something to you as you was exiting the last time where I said there are no mistakes and everything is designed the way that it is for a reason. Mm -hmm. so, um, even in the midst of that, and what you may be dealing with. And I can't imagine what your heart and mind might feel like. Sometimes we have to be sat down. And it's not even about the place or the space. It's just we have to be sat down. And what winds up happening is. 
you were supposed to be sat down right where you were <laughs> living in your life. And you, there was messages that was coming to you. You heard it. You heard the things that was telling you to do something different and to move differently, but we ignore it. And it's this thing that we do, you know, because we got to live, we got to get, we got to get right. We got to do what we got to do. And I've been putting some of the circumstances that I'm in right now. Some of the things that I am dealing with right now that is beyond heavy is because of the things that I ignored to listen to when I was supposed to. Mm -hmm. And so this burden that's on my shoulders is the weight of how I showed up for myself previously. And so that's why y'all, it's so important that you show up for yourself now a certain way because you're going to have the fruits of how you show up for yourself at this moment. It's coming. It's coming. Like the fruits of the labor of how you are choosing to show up for yourself today mm -hmm. is to be a part of your future. And how I showed up for myself in my past is exactly why I sit in the space that I sit in that's so hard for me to bear. You know, the negative parts and the positive parts. I can't mm -hmm. claim either one of them um, or just one aspect of them. It's all me. And so um, in the time that you have to be sat down at this moment, I want you to hear what you have to hear. Mm -hmm. And allow yourself to really just be fully present in that. Um, I'm being, I'm being sat down right now, you know, um, on so many different things and I have to really be fully present and transparent to hear it the way that I need to hear it. And so King, um, who you're going to be, it's already in you. It's already there. Yeah. You just haven't fully stepped into it. And I cannot wait for you to step fully present and show up for you one million percent the way you would show up for your children, the way you would show up for your parents, the way you would show up for have you okay, you wrote your you write out your goals, right? King? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you write down your why? Have you uh, written down I, your why? I didn't do it this time on the um are you okay with you you know, I, 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 what's that? Say again. Say that again. Can you hear me? I think it's my connection that's acting a fool right now. Say that again. Um, I have written down my why before. Yeah, not this time, but I have I have done that, yes. I think I have it in the book, actually. Okay. Is it still the same? Like, is your uh, why still the same right at this very moment as it was before? Um, I believe so, yeah. I want you to take some time out for yourself and just think about that. And even if it is, rewrite it. But I want you to write out your why. And I want that to be a motivating factor to keep you going no matter what. And please, please, please make sure you utilize this community. Make sure you utilize every single resource and tool that you have at your disposal mm -hmm. to help you through and navigate everything that you need to through this. Don't dare yeah. sit by yourself alone to the side when you've been aligned into this space. Mm -hmm. Please allow yourself to let this family be any and everything that we can for you. Okay. okay. Yes. I um I also want to um add to that because you, you um you spoke on exactly what happened to me. I heard those voices. I heard God telling me that I needed to slow down. I was moving too fast you know, in a lot of ways. And, you know, I even had a, a, a I even had a, a moment where I heard him say, if I, if I gotta, if I have to send you to prison for you to sit down, I'll do that. I even had that come to me and I ignored it. I ignored it. So I ended up in prison and during that time, you know, being able to um, like there's still 
a lot of exposure to drugs or mishaps or, you know, people that are making the wrong decisions because you got lifers and there, you got people that are in prison for a long time that don't care about going home and they're making choices that are not, you know, right for them. But they're losing time. They're being they're ended up they're ending up staying in prison longer than they're what they're supposed to be there because they're not focused on getting home. And I eliminated myself from that. I did not surround myself with none of that. I completely focused on my self-development. I didn't pick up not one hood book. Any book that I read was self-development. It was self-encouraging. It was self-help. It was a biz anything that can make me stronger as a businesswoman. I was actually feeding my mental because my my body was, you know, I wasn't free physically, but my mind was still able to go places that my body couldn't go at that moment. So I most definitely focused on developing myself as, as much as I possibly could. And even with, even with building relationships with your family, making your connection stronger with your family, staying connected with your children, that was my main thing. Like when I tell you my relationships with my family. I don't have not one unhealthy relationship in my life right now because that was my goal to make sure that every contact that I had, my parents, my grandparents, my si my siblings, my children, my significant other, whatever our problem was, whatever our problem was at the time, I wanted to get to the source of it develop a better relationship and make it stronger. And that right there alone makes you a better person when you can be the best father, you can be the best friend, brother, or son you can be to your to your family. And you know, um I I'm going to I'm going to send you my number and anything that you need as far as like guidance or help getting through this situation, I'm I'm with you all the way. I you got my support because I know what it's like to be there. And I feel like I can give you some light, you know, to, to kind of make it through that. Appreciate that. Thank you. Always. Please, King, reach out to your family. We here. Is there anything that you would like to say before I release you off this screen? Because I know you tired of us having you up here. Like, if you don't take <laughs> me off this screen. <laughs> no, you can cut me off. I'm good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, King James. We appreciate you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much, Queen Whitney. I truly appreciate you, Queen. You are absolutely phenomenal in every way. And thank you for showing up for yourself the way that you have. Um, I just want to say this real quick, y'all. Believe it or not, you know, there's been a lot of people. And I remember when we was going through the five-day challenges. And um, I want y'all to remember the people, the young men that came up and spoke to us about their situations in life and being in prison and all the different aspects, right? And we we know how difficult that is. Um, we can imagine for those of us that have not been there. But I think that one thing that we could probably all really resonate with, um, if we ever took the time out to really pay attention to it, is I, I just want to say this, is that living in the prison of your own mind can be more difficult than in the physical. Um, I will say that one more time. There's a lot of us that are in prison in our minds. And that is a very difficult space to be in. Because the truth of the matter is that you're free to walk out whenever you want to. You're free to choose differently whenever you want to. You are free to be different whenever you want to. But that prison of our mind holds us captive in a way that, um, oof, it, it oof. <laughs> that is some of the hardest work to ever do. That is some of the hardest breakthroughs to ever have. That shadow work is real. And not all of our thoughts that we are having that are holding us back truly belong to us. They've been adopted. They've been passed down. And I don't know if all of us really know 
that we have the power and the capability to walk straight out of that room at any given moment that we choose. I am your messenger right now. I am being used to be the vessel at this very moment to tell you at this very moment, whatever is holding you captive in your own mental facility where you are living in prison in your own mind, if you don't break free from that mindset immediately, then you will not be successful in anything that you want to be successful in. We have to do the work. Break through, y'all. Break through. Like, break through. I don't care if you got to kick it down. Like, blow it up. I don't care what you got to do. Punch it down. Bite it down if you have to. <laughs> okay? What they say, one of the last things people want to do is bite somebody in a fight. Listen, <laughs> in that mental fight, if you got to bite it, bite it. I don't care what you do. Get it up off you. Get away from it. We done with it. We done with that. We are done. We are absolutely done with that. And it, again, it is not by mistake that we are all in here in this room together. And um, this call, as I now see, should have been over. And I did not pay attention to the time. And please don't fight me. I do apologize. This was supposed to be over at 930. Um. 9.30 a.m. is when these calls are supposed to be over with. And so it's so funny how I guess the alignment is real. Like, as I start to say that, I see all of a sudden as I'm speaking on it, it looks like the Queen Jasmine drops it in the chat <laughs> as I'm speaking. And so alignment is so real. These calls are only one hour at 9.30. You are free to go. I literally, I just honestly um, moved a little bit past that just because of what was on my heart for anybody in this room and it was just a heavy moment that I felt that somebody needed to sit up there and share. And I need y'all to know that I promise you, if you show up for yourself the way that you're supposed to, you will have everything that you need to have. Um, I don't know who else is in here. We might take just one more, one more right now. And then we are getting out of here. I have the names of everybody that had their hand up. And I will definitely, we will definitely talk about this um, to make sure that you are heard. And that's one thing um, that we are pride ourselves on is being heard in here and being seen and being felt in every possible way so that everybody knows that we are in this together. And so King Arthur, are you there? I'm not sure. King Jaja, come talk to us, King. Yeah, peace and blessings once again. This is Dr. Jaja Shakur in the building. I just want to say peace and blessings to you, love, because, uh, Sunshine, because you pouring into us today. Everything that you said is a reflection of what, you know, we possibly all going through. And um, it's not what you go through, it's what you go through. You know, if you catch that. It's not what you go through, it's what you go through. And for me personally, what keeps me grounded is that I walk with a mighty and powerful God. God is powerful. If Harriet Tubman could do it, we could do it. If Frederick Douglass could do it, we could do it. If Martin Luther King did it, we could do it. If Malcolm X did it, we could do it. You know, of all of our ancestors who did it, and they had way more worse, you know, adverse conditions than we could ever think about. Going through slavery, getting beat down, dogs suck on them. You know, women pregnant, but still had to march, feet swollen. So... That reminds me that nothing that I go through can stop me from going through what I need to go through to go through so I can make things happen for myself, and my family. I just want to say, you know, as we go on this journey towards building wealth, you know, we also got to, you know, get rich, but we also got to live. We got to work out. We got to drink water, fruits and vegetables. We got to take care of ourselves because we don't want to get rich and then just die. And there's a lot of brothers on here like King James. Like right now, my son gang banging. I'm a doctor, you know, but my son chooses to go gangbang, you know? Is that painful? Yes, it is, but I'm still going to move through. I got a divorce two years ago. Was that painful? Yes, it was, but I'm still grinding. I'm still making that happen because I'm going to push through. I'm going to say to all you women on here that, you know, it's powerful men out here. I know you go through a lot. Women go through a lot. Men go through a lot. But at the end of the day, we're going to work it all out. We're going to make it happen. I'm just souped up right now. I'm about to go to the gym right now. Sunshine. About to make it happen. I'm going to go do some push-ups, go lift some weights. 
and make it happen this week. Everybody on this call, let's grind it out. Let's go to the school community and stay in, stay in contact with one another. And I'm going to say to everybody that we can't do it alone. I'm looking to partner who I can partner with, accountability partners, get this money and let's live. Sunshine, I love you. You're doing a great job and a great work. You remind me of my therapist. <laughs> so now I got two therapists now, you and my therapist that I got right now. <laughs> I thank you. I feel like Superman right now. Thank you. I love you. I love you, King Jaja. Y'all better show the King Jaja, Dr. Jaja Shakur, some love in the chat. Don't you be calling me no therapist, King. You better stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Listen, y'all. Our King mindset lets us know all the time, right, that our primary pathway in here is strategic partnerships. And King Jaja just brought up wanting to partner up with anybody in here. Your primary pathway is strategic partnerships. And so that's the only way we're going to move way quicker in the lane that we are in is when we stop looking to do everything by ourselves and when we partner up with each other and understand that we could get it done quicker and faster and more effectively. And as we all know, the primary focus is to become more effective in less time. Family, I would love to take more hands, but it is actually way past our time. Um, King Rahane and King Arthur, I promise you, we will sit up here and get back to you. But at the end of the day today, we lifting them weights. We lifting them weights. So all the weight that you feel on you right now, as heavy as it may be, I want you to know that you are stronger than anything it is that you are going through. And I want y'all to always remember that everything that was difficult in your life, in your past, you have already made it through that. So I want you to know and understand and stand on the fact, I promise you, you will get through this too. And what's going to make this one even a little bit better. No, I'm not telling you the truth. What's going to make this one a lot better is that you are being aligned into this community and you have a whole support system family. You have a whole family that's going to love you and support you through this process. You are not alone anymore. So I need everybody, everybody to sit up there and come off mute and we are getting through this together. We are going to our next level together and it doesn't matter. Yes, the way We getting through this together, y'all. Let's go. I need everybody to pour that energy in right now because we are ending this call on this high energy and I pray let's go is. let's get it let's family go, man. Let's, let's go let's go let's do it let's, let's do it let's do it let's, let's, do it. Do it. let's, let's get, get it done. let's do it 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 let's Make Ain't enough is stopping us. We don't. We stay there. All the way up. All the way up. Oh, you just gonna stay there? You feel me? You cut. You fall. You get up. back up every time. Back up every yeah. time. Don't let it stop you. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody know yeah. nothing. Yeah. No blockages. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Awesome. Real quick, y'all are super dope and amazing. I love the energy. Like I love, love, love the energy. If you have not paid attention in the chat, please, 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 please go look inside the chat right now. There is homework for you. It has been dropped. Please open that up. Please make sure you download it and get that checklist done today. When are we getting done, y'all? When are we getting this done? Is it tomorrow? When it? Thank you. Thank you, Jasmine. Today with the T-U-H. Everybody know I don't even know how to spell today because with me in Sunshine, it's today okay you don't hear no o t u h baby let's go everybody please download if you are still in the room download that pdf so that you have the checklist to know everything that needs to be done in the meantime and in between time this has been your accountability call that first monday that mindset monday that money monday do you understand that manifesting monday Everything you want, dream and desire you can have, it all starts with you. And believe it or not, it ends with you too. I love y'all. The life has been real. We will see you again on an accountability call on Wednesday at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. In the meantime, y'all better get to work. Don't you come in here on Wednesday morning talking about y'all don't have that. Because I think the Queen Jasmine might have dropped about 55 million 11 times already. Right? Where you at, Jasmine? Where'd she go? I know it's been dropped a million and one times, y'all. So make sure y'all have it. 
Why? Yeah, right here, right here. <laughs> I'm like, that's all I want to say about this love overflow, but make sure y'all get that checklist. That's it. We can talk about just that checklist is imperative. It is due before next week because at the end of the day, the mindset and the work are two in one. They have to get done together forever like us. But just please download that checklist in the group chat right here because it shows you everything step-by-step -step guide that you need to get done in order to be successful here together. Hey, Tomoa, Samoa. I didn't even know she was in the room. I was just saying, I was like, oh. Look, I came, look, I came in right in the nick of time, right in, right in time. At first, I was like, wait, I missed what happened, what happened? But <laughs> I just, um, everybody is definitely in the right place. And, you know, yes. we are going through things, but we are moving through things. And just stay tapped in, stay tapped in because we all need this. We all need each other. So. I'm so, you know, proud of everyone that is able to share their story and sending everybody so much love and light. There is no shame. There's no guilt. There's no, no more suffering. We have to come and make peace with ourselves, forgive ourselves so that we can all move into alignment with one another. So have a blessed day, everybody. Absolutely, my loves. You will never have a lack of support here. So make sure you get in this room. Get in this room. It's one thing to be on your calls in nighttime, but these reality is doubling your income is more doing. Oh snap! <laughs> but these morning accountability calls is everything. We love y'all to life. Uh, I cannot wait for our mindset mogul to come and bless us because we all need that. Like he takes us to a totally different level. However, we all got to be replenished and refilled. Fill your cup, family. Fill your cup. We love y'all to life. We will see you Monday at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, Hold on. There, there you go. I went to pull you up here. You wasn't even there. Girl, where you was at? One o'clock. What y'all doing at one o'clock? What's happening at one o'clock? Anybody doing anything at one o'clock today? Yay, nay? Stand by. <laughs> Stand by. <laughs> I got you and I heard you. Not a clear. Okay. So, <laughs> in the meantime and in between time, 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time will be your next morning accountability call. Get that checklist done. Get your work done. And we can't wait to build with you, to grow with you. And let's get to the next level together. We love y'all to life. Y'all have a great day, everybody. Bye, loves. Have a great day, everybody. Y'all the one, never the two. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Y'all have a good day. Y'all have a good day. Oops. Oops. Be amazing. <laughs> See y'all. Bye. Hey to y'all. See you, Kim. Yeah. Bye, Kim. <laughs> Bye, Dr. Jaja. See y'all okay. later. Have a good Peace. day. Peace. You too. Bye, Queen Janice. Y'all stay amazing. Have an amazing day, everybody. We love y'all to life. Queen Maurice, let's go, beautiful. Go be great. Y'all go be great. Y'all are beyond good. Go be great. Let's go, everybody. Love y'all to life. Have an amazing day. We love y'all. See you soon. Bye, King Turk. We love y'all to life. Everybody going, 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 going. Hey, my beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> See y'all later. Have an amazing day, everybody. Y'all take care. Ain't nobody else coming in through here right now. They coming in. <laughs> no, they not. No, no, we is moving that right on out. Where that mindset go? They going. All right. Well, that checklist is in the chat, y'all. So check the checklist out. All right, check the checklist. Have a great day, Queen Delisha. All right, everybody. Y'all have a great one. Um, coaches. I'm about to end this and we about to jump. I need y'all to just come right back, okay? Real quick. All right. Love y'all. Bye, everybody.